Hey, Generations Church family, here Pastor Bradley for another video to ha take place midweek. Again, made the promise we're going to try to make a midweek video pretty fairly often, so here's one for the second week of Easter. We've all enjoyed our Easter time together. We've enjoyed our Easter dinner, our Easter lunch, time with family, or maybe if you're like some folks, you on the big holidays when you don't have family nearby, you go to the movie theater or whatever your tradition is, we've had that great celebration, and within the life of the church, we've had the huge celebration of Sunday morning, the Sunday morning. And now we've had another Sunday since then. And it begs us to question, what about life after Easter? Of course, liturgically speaking, we're in the season of Easter till Pentecost for uh, 50 days. And so we're going to be in Easter for quite a bit. And to be fair, one of those cliche terms we throw around a lot is we're Easter people, that every Sunday is an Easter Sunday. And but mind you, those are all true statements. It can be hard at times to really keep that reality in the first forefront of our heart, even so close right after Easter. Our scripture this, this week is a, a familiar tale, one that I hold really true and close to my heart. It's the tailing of the walk to Emmaus. It's the right after the crucifixion, right after Jesus rising from the dead, right after appearing to some of the disciples. And we see two disciples on the road to the neighboring village of Emmaus. The two are walking about seven miles from Jerusalem, it says in Luke chapter 24. And they're talking to each other about all the things that had just taken place in the city. And while they're talking, discussing, Jesus himself appears among them and they don't recognize him. And Let's just listen in. Jesus asks, What are you discussing with each other while you walk walk along? And they stood still, and one looked, appeared to be sad. One of them finally answered, whose name was Cleopas, and answered, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place in these past days? He asked them, What things? And they replied, The things about Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all people, and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we have hoped he would be the one to redeem Israel. Yes, besides all this, it is now the third day since these things have took place. And moreover, some women of the group astounded us. They were at the tomb early this morning and they did not even find his body there. They came back and told us that they had seen indeed seen a vision of the angels who had seen him alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but they did not see him. Jesus appears to these two on the road and Jesus continues to uh, walk and journey with them. We're told in Luke's gospel that he continues to teach with them and walk this entire seven mile journey to the neighboring village of, of um Emmaus. And when they gather to the, to the place of, of, of where they're going to be staying, Jesus, as he's been teaching all along the road with them, they've drawn close, not knowing this is Jesus they're speaking to. And Jesus appears to be going to be continuing on the, wall, the road. And the two ask him, please stay with us. And only when encountering him in a close, personal way in the, in their, in the home of that evening, did they finally realize, this has been the Lord the whole time. They've been walking, but where were they walking to? They thought they were going to Emmaus, but when they find the news that it was Jesus this whole time, we're told that they, they break bread together and then rush back to tell the other disciples. A similar tale for us in our journey of life. We have this big extravagant celebration on Easter Sunday and even Easter after. And to be fair, life doesn't fully hold still for Easter. School schedules come in to be spring break, and other times we have times off of work for Good Friday and other holidays. But once Easter has come and gone, and there is a certain element, a certain feeling that creeps up that almost feels like, well, life goes back to normal. <laughs> Whatever that is, right? We must remind ourselves that we as Christ followers, we as Christians, we as good God-fearing people are not called utilize a parking meter. Now, hear me well, I'm not saying you don't need to pay your, pay your parking meter when you go downtown to Mobile or any other place for a restaurant. Please, I don't want to be responsible for you getting towed. But in their life of Christ, in our spiritual way, parking meters aren't really what we're looking for. We don't want to see time expired on the meter. Christ has paid the parking tab, so to speak. Not that we can sit still and be good, but rather we can get going for Him. This road to Emmaus that we're all on in some sense, some way or another, we're all traveling somewhere. And the, the task at hand, as we're seeing from this, one of the many lessons from this tale, is that 
Christ is among us wherever we go. Even, oh yes, even on the road to Emmaus. Even on our road down to Saraland. Even on the road to Mobile proper or wherever we're going. Every step of the journey of life, Christ is with us. And we are called to action to live that way. Just like Christ is right there beside us. To live for Him like He's right there beside us. So in this Easter message, friends, let us take heart knowing that Christ has paid the ultimate sacrifice, yes. He has risen indeed, yes, and He lives among us, with us, every single day. Not that we can have our reserve parking space, but that so we can have our journey with Him each and every day on this road to wherever we're going. Friends, wherever you're going this coming week, I hope things are going well. If you ever need anything, please feel free to give me a call. And as we live into this Easter celebration, let us be good Easter people on this road to Emmaus or wherever we're going, knowing that Christ walks along with us. I love you. God loves you. I'll see you next time.